today. Remember that if you are unsure about anything going on in your life, one thing you can be sure about is that you need to pray. You need to pray when things are going good and you need to pray when things are going bad. You need to pray when you don't know what's going on. Sometimes life can get so overwhelming when you lean on the most high and you don't want to do anything without the most high. Lead me to what you want me to eat, what you want me to wear, where you want me to go, what you want me to do right now in this moment. And it may seem like you can't get an answer. Continue to pray because he will show you the way just like he has all the other times you prayed. Matthew 7, 7 through 11 says, Keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks, receives. Everyone who seeks, finds. And to everyone who knocks, the door will be open. You parents, if your children ask for a loaf of bread, do you give them a stone instead? Or if they ask for a fish, do you give them a snake? Of course not. So if you simple people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly father give good gifts to those who ask him? Ephesians 6 and 18 says, Pray in the spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. Prayer is how we speak to our heavenly father. That's how we communicate with him. When we pray, we are talking to him, asking him, or guidance, or simply just thanking him, or just knowing him and loving him. That is how we reach him, through prayer. We don't have all the answers, but he does. So talk to him, love him, thank him, ask him, seek him, and he will appear.